An explosion accident on a motorway near Islamabad killed three people and injured two. The incident occurred due to a cylinder burst in a passenger van. Australian researchers found that spending more time standing does not improve cardiovascular health and may increase circulatory issues, according to a recent study. Fifteen individuals were sentenced in Hunan province for their roles in a 2022 building collapse that killed 54 people, with terms ranging from 12 years to 2 years and 9 months. Prime Minister Shigeru Ishiba sent a ritual offering to the Yasukuni Shrine during its autumn festival, marking his first such act since taking office. In Mississippi, a bridge collapse has left three dead and four injured. Authorities confirm it occurred during a worksite accident on Highway 149. Ecuadorian President Daniel Noboa will announce urgent measures Thursday to address severe power outages caused by the worst drought in six decades. Violent protests by students spread across Punjab after an alleged college rape in Lahore. Police have arrested at least 150 protesters amid ongoing clashes. As dissatisfaction grows, at least 20 Liberal MPs are set to demand Prime Minister Trudeau's resignation, signalling serious unrest within his party. Japan's ruling LDP is in jeopardy ahead of the general election due to a slush fund scandal, with nearly 30% of voters undecided, according to a recent poll. In South Korea's recent by-elections, the ruling People Power Party and the Democratic Party each secured victories in their strongholds amid low voter turnout. Sydney authorities confirm that mysterious black balls are tar balls, prompting beach closures and an investigation into their origin. The Sudanese Ministry of Agriculture emphasizes its commitment to food security despite the ongoing humanitarian crisis from civil conflict, affecting millions and leading to acute food insecurity.